Kylie Yahweh. Yeah. Welcome to the Queen E Show. How you doing? Thank you so much for having me through. Thank, Thank you for having me. So tell me, how are you finding London? I enjoy it. I love it. I feel like I'm in like a a giant sitcom at all times. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching Skins of the UK, but being in it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you been out while you're here? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. Every time I come out here. Yeah. Okay. In the streets. Okay, so obviously we've been repping high right now. Tune. And Salute, obviously, with French Montana. Mm -hmm. um, so your new album is out. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to us about the project, please? Uh, it's it's a beautiful, like, feeling. It's like, it's a wave of emotions. It's heart full of rage. It's like, people, like, it's me explaining myself in so many different emotions, raging out, like, letting go of all feelings, and just letting people, like, explore my mind at the same time. Yeah. Are you doing any live shows over here, we here? Um, we're doing, was it Reading and Leeds Festival? Okay, nice. Yeah, that's coming that up this, week vibe. this weekend. Okay. So. so we like to take it back. So for people listening and watching the show, like when did your journey with music first start? Like how old were you? Um, I was definitely 14 years old. Okay. It was like before I got kicked out. <laughs> out in the crib. But I was like, I was recording. I was, uh, I made a song and what made me like realize like, oh, this could be like my career for the rest of my life. Uh, I dropped a song. I'm not gonna tell you what the song is. I'm not gonna tell you where, how, what's the name of my, the song was. Okay. I dropped the song and it did crazy on the internet and it did crazy and like, what I did, I shot a video for it and I put my local radio station at the end of it. Okay. And then everybody from my school and different high schools started calling for that record and they didn't have the record and they finally played the record. They found it and played it. And like that's what you remember Hulkshare back in the days? Okay, vaguely. And they're like Hulkshare, I dropped it on Hulkshare and it had like 40,000 downloads. I was like, yo, that's a lot of downloads. Yeah. Like, now it's nothing but like compared to what I'm getting now. Yeah. It was like a lot. I was like, yo, 40,000 downloads. That could have been like, oh, that could have been like $40,000 if it was on iTunes or something like that. <laughs> so you're like, I'm on this now. Yeah, like I'm on this, I'm on this wave. So I just like stayed in the studio. I was like going through all different t trials and t tribulations. Kept, kept going, kept going, opening up for people, met up with the right people in life. And then I feel like I moved to Cali when I was like, 19, like 2015. You're from Florida originally? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I drove from Florida to Cali. How long did that take you? <laughs> it was like a day. It okay. was like with some homies and stuff too, so I was like, it was no time. We all kept switching and stuff, so we got there in like a day and some change. Okay. And we just, like, I, I, was, I had them drop me, like, we got an Airbnb for a month. Everybody had their ticket back to Florida. I did it. I was like, I'm staying in Cali, like, my homie dropped me off on Venice Beach with a skateboard in the back and I uh, made my way to figure out what the American dream really was, you know, went you home. Caught it. Yeah, I caught it, you know, <laughs> so. Not many people do, to be fair, like, you know, when yeah. you go to LA, you see a lot of kind of people that have tried it and it hasn't worked, but and, you, yeah, you can see you can, kind of quick. You can obviously well. see it too, like, especially if you go on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, Boulevard. Yeah. It's all the homeless people that want to be artists selling their CDs, like, you got CDs, like... Dressed as, like, Spider-Man, but, like, a really old yeah. outfit of Spider-Man as well. Like, yeah, we really wanted to become an actor, but now I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> so who were you listening to when you were growing up? Uh, I listened to a lot of old school, like, rock. A lot of new school rock, rap. Everything. Yeah. Everything, like... I'd name all, every artist, like, in so many interviews, like... I listen to so many different genres, like, I, I feel like I just find a new song and I, like, adapt to it and I put it in my, on my mp3 or I, like, keep it in my brain every time I'm in a car and I play it. Okay. So, it's like, I love, I love anything from, like, the 60s up. Nice. So, if you could do, like, a dream collaboration with someone, dead or alive, from anywhere in the How world. How many people can I put on a song? How many people do you want to put on? I'll put three people on the song. Okay. So I have Jim Morrison singing the hook. Mm. Then I'll have a rap verse from Tupac. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have a verse. Yes. And then I'll put Biggie on like a give Biggie an eight or something. Okay. Yeah. That's a nice little nice little mixture of people right yeah, there. Yeah, it'd be fire. 
So um, on my show, right, we run this Young UK Rapper of the Year competition. Uh -huh. so we have like lots of young rappers, producers, singers, songwriters that listen to the show. Mm -hmm. What advice can you give them on making it with music? Um, like making it, it's not like about thinking about making it. It's yeah. like I want people to realize like what I had in my head was just like me working every single day. It's like like I was already part of the industry. I made myself like think like yo, I'm in this game. I'm really in it. So. Every single day I was in the studio making songs, making songs, I'm like, yo, this gotta be the next one, this gotta be the next one, this gotta be the next one. And I just stayed on the grind and I stayed like getting my name out there, like connecting with people, actually making fans, because people don't realize like to get fans you have to make them. Like mm -hmm. you have to you have to show people, like you have to conversate. I had first started off conversating with everybody, like Every time I had someone who supported my music, yeah. I like made them part of my family. Like, mm -hmm. talk to them every day. They ask me advice. I actually message them back. They're in my live or like they commenting on something. I message them back. Yeah. Like, make them feel part of you. You know, and just you gotta know how to be a leader, not a follower. Yes, you know? that's really good advice. Yeah, so it's a lot. Yeah, it's, just, it's a lot of steps that you gotta take and gotta make. It's like finding like this like you know how the key lock like you finally found that one but you missed it like yeah it's like every time you you get to a certain point like this stepping stools you got to go through your trials and tribulations so. yeah 100 percent. cool um obviously you've traveled a lot mm -hmm. if there's anywhere in the world you could live where would it be Oof. damn this is hard australia maybe okay or new zealand Nice. And Sweden. Those are three people in places. Let me put three. Yeah, you can, you can pick three. I like Sweden. <laughs> I didn't yeah. like what they did to ASAP Rocky, but I like Sweden. Though. Yeah, yeah, None of us like what they did to ASAP Rocky, uh, but um, if you could be invisible for one day, where would you go? To the bank. Yeah. <laughs> you could pick still. I always say Area 51 because I want to know what the hell is going on there. But yeah, the bank's a good pick too. Uh, I'm going straight to the bank. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm taking, I'm wiping them all out. Bless you. Go straight to the Gucci store just like you. Yeah, you know. I have been to the Gucci store. <laughs> um, are you going to be touring anytime soon? Uh, I'm back on tour in a week or so, two weeks. Okay. Two weeks, I'm back on tour for like 48 days. Nice. American, then we're back, we're doing more, more, more shows. I'm probably on tour until like, I've been on tour for a year already. Oh. And then not to like the middle next year. I want to see you live. You have to come back here. Oh, yeah, I'm coming back. Yeah? Yeah, I definitely can't wait to do it. We're actually planning that my own tour, too, so. Good stuff. That's why we're just on the road doing it. We're so booked up. It's crazy. I'd be looking at it like, damn, like, I'm actually doing something, like, this is wild. I'm, I'm enjoying it. So. I love that. Well, Tyler Yahweh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, thank you. Guys, go cop Heart Full of Rage. It's I out right now. I love your tattoos, by the way. Thank you so much. I love yours, too. Are these your two dogs? Yeah, these two passed away, sadly. Oh, but this sorry. one's still kicking, so. Uh, Frenchie. I have yeah. a Frenchie. Do you? Yeah. His name is Ralphie. My mom has him now. Because oh. I'm, like, always on the road. How so. old is he? Uh, he's a year and a half. Oh, cute. He's, he's a little puppy. Yeah, he's just crazy. Nah, he's chill. You don't need no leash or nothing. No? Nah, he's cool. Mine's crazy. Mine hates like other dogs. Nah, mine's love dogs. He like That's hangs good. up, like he cuddles up with the small dogs and stuff. Aww. He'll bother them for a second and like end up sleeping with them and stuff. <laughs> like, he's cool. That's very cute. Nah, I love a dog. Well, thank you. Shout out to the Frenchie owners. Hey. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever come